So one day a few months back, I was actually working on a previous painting. I believe I was working on my Doc Holliday Joker painting. And it came to me that I have my old Radio Flyer wagon. And he's sitting in the shed, just rusting away. And I thought, you know, it might be kind of fun to immortalize my wagon. And so that's why I picked this up. It's got a lot of great memories attached to it. When I see that wagon, I think about my brother. And I think about me and our great relationship as kids, and we have a great relationship to this day. It's something that I wanted to put on canvas. And I also thought that if I put that on canvas, a lot more, a lot more people out there would probably identify with it, because I bet you a lot of folks out there had radio flyer wagons when they were kids. So what's the hardest part about putting together a still life? I don't know, it depends on what your goals are, I guess. For me, my goal is to not only represent the item, you know, true to form, you know, not just the shape and the color and the shadow, but I also want it to have some character and I want it to have a little bit of me in there. I want it, I want my style to show through while still preserving the the actual item's form. I pay attention to perspective. I want to have a, a certain angle. You know, in this particular piece, I'm going to have it, the angle. Your, your, your line of sight is going to be looking up a bit on the wagon. So that is my goal for this piece, and it's generally my goal for most pieces. When I did the teddy bear still life, the angle, the viewing line, or line of sight, was looking down the teddy bear because. It, the theme of that was you've grown up, but you're still looking back at a time of innocence. So if you're looking down on it, it sort of signifies that you're an adult. You're, you're, you're bigger than you used to be. But this one, I'm kind of going backwards, though. I'm trying to take the viewer back to when they were a kid. You're looking up at the wagon. So that is my, my idea, my goal for this painting, is to convey a sense of innocence and of just fun times when we didn't have responsibilities. We were just little kids. All we cared about was getting up in the morning, going outside and having fun, having a good time. I really miss those days. I remember when I was a kid thinking, I did not want to be an adult because adults have so much responsibility. And on top of all that, I just thought, it looked to me like being an adult was boring. And you know what? Compared to being a kid, I think it is. I think I was right. I would rather be a kid. 12 years old, that's my ideal age. So I can't go back in time, but the next best thing is I can give the sense and bring back the memories of being a kid, and that's what I'm going to try and do with this painting. So I, I hope when you look at this painting that you see something that brings you back to the time when you were a kid. And if you're already a kid, then I hope you just like the way it looks. <laughs>
it's got to be about 30 years old and it's got some rust to it it's got a little bit of beating to it some scratches maybe even a dent here and there my brother and I used to carry rocks in it I used to carry my brother in it <laughs> used to ride it down a hill like a sled which is not wise but that's that's what we did as kids and I thought it'd be kind of fun to immortalize my wagon I think it was a lot of fun and it's tough as can be the newer radio flyers they seem to make out of plastic now you know, they don't make things to last I'm not saying those don't last but I'll take metal over plastic any day so anyways that's what I'll be painting it's important to get some good shots some good reference material when you're doing a still life my dog's trying to figure out how to drive the wagon but I won't let her what do you think Bonnie? what do you think Bonnie girl? what do you think? Wanna be on TV? <laughs> so I'm just here getting reference material for the wagon. So my plan is to paint it as is. I like the idea of showing some wear and tear, showing a little bit of rust on it. Especially, you know, in the this back tire here. This back wheel. A lot of rust right there. And I just think it'll give it a lot of character. And uh, I it'll go with the theme. I'm titling the painting my first car because, hey, this is pretty, pretty close as you can get to your first vehicle when you're a little kid.